Wow, so raise your hand if you're 99% sure everything just went to complete hell right there. I can't see any of your hands, I'm sorry. That's not how the internet works, but I am I sense your frustration. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love ya, tomorrow. Yo, what's going on guys? Riot's here, finally back in Ark Survival Evolve. It's been so long since I've quit this game and come came back. It's like weird to return. It's almost been like 36 hours. I've missed it. I've missed it dearly. All right, so we ba basically last episode, the impossible happened. I don't even want to say what happened for those of you who haven't seen it yet. Just because, I don't know, in case anyone hasn't seen it yet. It's just the impossible straight up happened. Something we didn't foresee ever even being possible in this godforsaken planet of ours. But... I've, I've basically reached out to all you guys asking what we could possibly do to resolve it and I'm a little pleased with the answers I think <clears throat> I think I'm choking because I just sang along to all the Deadpool music or uh, the whole Deadpool 2 soundtrack for like an hour But um, oh yeah, my homie Jay, my one of my stream moderators who probably should realistically be an admin He's like known as the Viking around my community. He um, basically Gave me advice to use this one mod. Sorry, I'm trying to formulate words. I'm halfway through a cup of tea. My brain's gonna have to wake up a little bit. I've just been singing. But, um, it's basically this mod that, well, we'll get to in a second. It enables you to do all kinds of crazy stuff with creatures that, honestly, would have been useful on episode one. Is when it should have been brought in, but it wasn't. Alright, so first things first. Last time we tamed Raphis. Today we're going for Primordius. <clears throat> Last time, because I'm such a brave, epic person, I tried to fight Primordius to bend him to my will. It's not how it works. They're passive tame. I'm too cool for my own good. I hate when that happens. It happens all the time. I'm so damn cool. So yes, right now we're gonna go take care of Primordius, then we're gonna get into all kinds of crazy stuff. So make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys are having a good time or just want to show your love for ARC stuff, and let's get into it. Oh, also, I do owe some of you guys an apology for last episode. That was technically clickbait, that thumbnail. Not all of you watched every part of the video, so you missed the part where I ranted for five minutes about how I made that thumbnail and it was I didn't have time to make another. And the only reason that thumbnail was clickbait was because freaking Origin Wyvern's a sky dick. So I blame him for that clickbait, not for me at all. It's that that would have been the actual video if it wasn't for the sky penis. Alright, so... I guess I have to go fly over to the boss place. Little Nikki, you are the fastest creature ever. I wonder if Little Nikki's actually fast or if it's just relative to his size, because he's also like the biggest griffin ever. <clears throat> We're being chased by creatures. Unbelievable. I just stick up my chin and grin and say, God, I freaking love the Deadpool soundtrack. All right, so this is the boss area. This is necessarily where we will be sniveling. Freaking Dota Rex is all over the place. There he is, Primordius. Does he ever sit down on the ground? I feel like I've seen him touch butts to the floor before. What's down here making crazy noises? Just go ahead. Oh, I forgot C with this guy. C! Hey, you've picked him up. Put him down, you fool. I did not realize we could pick up Carnos. That is quite the trick. Okay, so just like last time, these Celestials must be passive tamed. Getting aboard the dude, however, is going to be a bit of a... Oh, 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 oh. Damn you, freaking... Oh my god, we had it, dude. We had it. Who told you to sit down instantly? Who gave the call? It wasn't me, you bastard. Hang on, actually, speaking of... Okay, these coins are basically one of the most important things. I'll get into that in a second. We'll get into that in a minute. Hang on. Primordius, you sky douche. All right, little Nikki, I swear to god, just just chill. Just, just don't even... Don't do anything! God, I hate you! Little dicky, more like it. Good one, Johnny. Nice. Ain't that about a man? The second a good friend of yours starts being annoying, it's all about how he's the- Okay, I just- I'm going to- I'm going to start stabbing myself every time I fail at this because I need to express frustration. God, I was just listening to the most beautiful music five seconds ago. Wow. I swear, my mind is so tortured and tormented, I'm like, I, I, it's absolutely ridiculous. I can't have a single moment of peace in this thing. Tomorrow, tomorrow, goddamn therapy song's not working! Alright, we gotta figure out, um, some other strat- Damn, I gotta go make a stupid grapple hook? What is this, the 70s? Can you even grapple on the wild creatures? Is that even a thing? Oh, Jesus! What? Okay, so the wings are non-existent. Had the wing have existed, that plan would have been absolutely perfect. I might just cut to 10 minutes into the video when I when I am on top of this creature's back. Cause I don't want to. Oh yeah! Uh-huh. Ah! You've punched it. 
You've punched it and ruined everything. Focus on me! God damn it, leave, leave little Nikki alone! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh god, what have I done? Oh my god, I punched it. I freaking punched it. What an abusive, crazy bastard. Are you serious? There's, oh my god, it's like some sort of husband. The second his wife, like, even pretends to... Okay, that 24,000 right there is a bad sign. That's a bad sign. That, uh-oh. Wow, so raise your hand if you're 99% sure everything just went to complete hell right there. I can't see any of your hands, I'm sorry. That's not how the internet works, but I am, I am sense your frustration. Everyone who grew up watching Dora the Explorer is an idiot, alright? If you think she hurts you, you're just wrong. She doesn't know what you're saying. That's not how TVs work, alright? Back, 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 you dumb, lying, little, little monster. Alright, now, my movement speed is that of a goddamn ninja. Now, I, I don't think stats are resetting anymore. I think, nope, they are, definitely. Because I was going to say, they had to reset skill points, so I had to re-skill point my character out before. But then I just died, and when you die, you still come back as a metahuman, apparently, because I have 12,000 health right now, and I've never even seen as much experience, experience points to get 5,000 health. So 12,000 means I'm beefcaking it. Ooh, it's one of those sexy bastards. Ah, oh, back in the glory days of Jurassic Park expansion. That's the room they're spitting out the- God! Hang on a second, Jesus Christ. Luckily, I've got 12,000 health. Yeah, that's not gonna stop anything, Johnny. God damn it! Shut up, Toxic Rick, you idiot. You're nowhere near as great as the mighty Rick Sanchez. Wow, you know what? That's actually some crazy thought right there. One day, season four is gonna come out. That's gonna be a thing. That's, oh my god, are you guys ready for every nine-year-old in the world to shout Pickle Rick anytime he does anything now? Including this 26-year-old one? Hell yeah. I ain't playing this shit anymore! Hang on a second, where's my, okay, hang on, where's my, where's my jump? My Wolverine. Oh my god, they've taken our glider and our helmet and our meat! I hate this place! Where is he? Goddamn thief. Goddamn thief. Empty your pockets! I won't kill you because you're just a poor starving young man trying to feed his family, I'm assuming, but still. I mean, the audacity. This game sure sets me up for some funny situations. I can't imagine a game in, in the entire world ever existing where you get half these situations. You know how much content Ark has pooped into their game? Arguably the wrong kind of content, as a lot of people are still very unhappy with the game. But they, when, like, they're just, please fix PvP! I relax, I know PvP is broken, but here's honors! Like, that kind of stuff I imagine pissed off a lot of people. Oh, she's alive! Oh my god. That is- Okay, alright. Now, I, okay, little Nikki, thank Jesus you're alive. Or thank Satan, actually, since little Nikki's dad is the devil. If you haven't seen the movie, culture yourself. It's hilarious. If it's not hilarious to you, just- It was hilarious in the 90s, alright? To 90s kids, it's hilarious. He's basically the devil's son, but his mom was an angel. It's played by Adam Sandler. That's why he's like a, a demon, or like a, 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 a demi, but he shoots rainbows out of his hands. I'm scared. I'm a little shocked, a little shocky poo right now. It's not working. How did it work with put taming food? Oh, the last slot, you stupid idiot, Johnny. Yeah! Alright, sweet. And you know what, I feel like I actually, because I like to earn my tames, these passives always kind of got to me, even though you have to do so much stuff just to earn the passive tame. Um... Even though, yes, yeah, alright, you come with me. Let's go ahead and let's test this bad boy's strength out. Let's just, okay, wait, wait, even better. Hang on, we already just went up 158 levels. God damn! Now let's make sure. No, not on me! I'm chilling! Use it on the animal. Wow, I just gave myself some super jerky, bro. Did I gain any experience points from that? Can humans gain experience points from that? What's going on here? Alright, let's just make sure this guy's beefcake to like crazy, and then let's get into what these stat tokens are. Alright, now I need to stare at this for like five minutes just to see what number- You know what, I'm just gonna put- put ungodly amounts of stuff into his health, and then I'll try and decipher what those codes and numbers mean. Okay, you see, I guess a lot of damage is also very, very important. This thing's gonna be fighting the Origin Wyvern. That's- if you guys haven't caught on, that's what's going on today. It's some Origin Wyvern fighting. By the way, let me know what you guys think about bringing freaking the World Snake into Fight the Origin Wyvern as well. I think we're gonna have to do a giant boss episode battle thing even before we fight Thanos. He's, it's just that ridiculous. Okay, I'll see if we get any more experience. I've been saving those bad boys. Ooh, a tiny one. Throw that in there too. Just all in the pile. I don't know where the hell I'm getting all these warden clothes. Oh, you know what? I've been finding a lot of wardens. 
All right, so we're at 150 million health and 4,000 melee damage. Now, all right, let's just go ahead and exemplify what's going on here. You better be well, these are standard ass bro. Everything here should be one shot in no matter. Okay, you're also not the fastest. I noticed that. I know part of it is because you keep getting caught on him, but let's just make sure you're speedy. 157,000 damage, that ain't that much. We're gonna have to definitely make your freaking um, damage a lot higher. Is that Dota Rick still, he's still alive? What? That's unheard of. Yeah, okay, we should not be doing any of this with um with with little Nikki with us at all. At all. That's sketchy stuff right there. Alright, buddy, you're not doing that much would you get freaking monkey head? Were you supposed to get a monkey head? No. Alright, and he's maxed out level. Now this is where the other thing comes into play. Let's go ahead and get all you guys out of there. Now which way back to our base? What are you doing, dildos? I think it's just this giant open field of here. I freaking love this area. It may not be that like detailed or great or new or anything, but it's like the most blatantly plain area ever, which is just perfect for my base of operations. And then from here, we basically go into the extravagant areas around the land. All right, let me learn you guys some knowledge really quick. By the way, make sure to leave a like on the video if you're awesome or if you're not awesome. See, you can't even get around that kind of black magic. That includes everybody. All right, so who, what the fudge nuggets? Just go ahead and chill, buddy. We're obviously gonna need some sort of crossbow grapple to constantly come back into contact with you, but that's cool, whatever. I, don't, I, I have no problem with that. All right, look at this, now we're just, oh, we are all that is man. Oh my God, we're so much Wolverine, we're probably gonna be referenced in Deadpool 3. That's how Wolverine this character is. Alright, so this bad boy right snurf. Now with this thing right here, you basically have the option to A, create stat point tokens, use this dino station. Wait, you can actually craft these? Oh wait, I thought I, I, I had to kill creatures to make these. Hang on, this is what, let's go ahead and craft all that's what I was saving up for. This right here is our, I did not realize I could make these just by themselves. Otherwise I would have done this without killing creatures, but it almost seems better because basically what you do is you use this right here the sacrifice potion you use on one of your tame dinos to sacrifice it for its tame points some weird voodoo shit this actually gets me demonetized on its own but i basically use this on one of our odin clones to produce these chips right here which gave us 343 uh freaking stat point tokens which used with the dino to increase the dino stats and it goes beyond its max stats as well so it doesn't over cap or anything which is great and then there's also some cool stuff like health potion a breeding potion a re reset potion for stat reset uh freaking resistance potion this i like the thought of we're gonna be using a lot of these at actually we should use these today i feel like 30 seconds is a long time and the origin wyvern is a lot of fire damage i'm scared to fight the origin wyvern today i swear to god if he kill i swear to god i swear to god all right, this kind of stuff right here, the DNA extraction kit is how you require DNA. And then there's, look, sex change potion, agility potion. Wait, what is, okay, allows any dino to turn on the spot. Also doubles turn speed, uh, step height, and removes fall damage. Wow. Some pretty epic donut in this schnizzles. All right, so basically this is what we're doing right now. We are killing some clones. It is a sad thing. They are clones. It is fine. They do not care. All they care about is that we win this war. It's okay. I asked them. It's what they said. You basically just do this. Consume, and then you get the tokens. And you basically just stack up these tokens with no limit, creating creatures that are so infinitely powerful that they're usually just OP and take all the fun out of the game. Or they would if the creatures in your world weren't also insanely OP taking all the fun out of the game. They're ruining it for me. Until we strike the goddamn Origin Wyvern out of the sky, we just, and then you know what? The Origin Wyvern is like one of the bosses we're just raking towards. The main one is the freaking Demonic Reaper Emptress, which we're just using to get on our side because without her, we stand literally no chance at all against Thanos. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to do this by episode 100. This is crazy. Yeah, I don't know how to be mature about this and express this in a normal manner, but if without my Wolverine costume, I'm not playing. So, I just need to go ahead and get- Whoa, 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 I forgot to reset my freaking things. Like, I had to, I'm having to un- Like I said earlier in the episode, my, um, or all of our skill points were reset, so I had to redo all that. What? Oh, 
What? The craziest part about this is that I can't make for this. I don't have like nine metal. That's absolutely bananas. Whatever. Fine. We'll be Pimp Wolverine again. Pimp Wolverine is actually hilarious to me. The dude is just so coming. It's like Wolverine. Yeah, Pimp Wolverine. There's no other way to describe it. All right, so we have a bunch of these awesome tokens on us, which is fantastic. Now, let's go see how awesome these tokens make our Primordius Dragon. Which, again, should be an unstoppable killing machine creature that has no issue being... Just literally... Jimmy has defeated every creature out here, by the way. I think everyone is really under or overlooking Jimmy. I don't think anyone's really... Really clicking together how epic Jimmy is. Oh, we're coming, buddy. Okay, like before, I kind of... I want to name this after a freaking insane Celestial Marvel character, but... But, obviously, there's the factor of making sure the dude survives combat first. That is the most important thing. Alright, so we got some of these. Now, what happens if we use, use with Dino Station to increase the Dino stats? Whoa, we can even heal all Dinos? No Dinos to heal, but that's... And it could upgrade. Okay, so this is what we have to do. We have to upgrade Dino. That's what I was supposed to be doing the whole time. I killed Dinos for no reason. Oh my god. Okay, so what do you have to do? Do you have to put them in the Pokeball? Oh, I wonder if that's what's going on here. Trippy stuff. I'm just now experimenting with all this madness right here. This is, okay, consume it. And now we've got a, a, a Dino Ball full. Oh my god, it's in the Pokeball. See, I was getting this mod confused with the Pokemon mod, where you actually do put your Pokemon or put your dinos and Pokeballs, and then that whole thing. He's in there! Ho ho ho! Jockey, soccer bleed! No, look, Primordius, he's in the Pokeball. And then you go over here and you go upgrade Dino, and you just get to pretty much upgrade. That's that's bananas, dude. And so tame points. How do you? Can you upgrade wild points? That's that's kind of weird as well. How does that work? No, you need a stat point token to increase the dials. Right, okay. Well, um, I feel like I've got a bunch of those stat point tokens. So I do need them in the long run. Ho oh, ho! And if we just... No, that gets it to there, but we're at max level, so that's... Oh my god, you could essentially make your creature an animal! A wild beast! Anyway, if I get it up to 255, does it stop there? It does. You bastard. Well, but then, I guess, we can just keep using these tokens until it's at least at its exact most powerfulness. I feel like this creature's still gonna be a lot more powerful than it was prior. You just keep pouring these tokens into this bad boy. That's what I like to see right there. Alright, and so then, it's kind of maxed out for melee. That is the thing. Let's make sure we get health all the way up. I guess even movement speed could be a little bit faster. I don't really mind it being not that fast, though, because, um... I needed to keep up with my other creatures. Alright, so that pretty much just worked out all hunky-dory, did it? Let's go see what we're dealing with here. And then... Consume. What's going on, buddy? Now what are we looking at you? 160 million, and he's got double the melee damage, which is pretty fancy. So that's basically what it enables you to do, is, um... There's still not a lot of- I mean, we're gonna need to be- The, the, the dude's got a hundred- or the, no, the dude's got 300 million health, yo. 300 million health. And he kills very quickly. This is my concern, you see. This is... This is where I fall into Concernicus. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're a very strong creature. All the ladies are in love with you, buddy. You're one of the coolest Sheboygans... You're just speaking gibberish now, Johnny. Sheboygan, it's, it's either way. I just wants him to be a well creature. I th oh my god! Hey, I know the. I, I just, I just, I just, I just, I, I want him to go into battle, but holy crap! But um, I mean, last time, dude. Last time we we it was, it was we didn't even get close. We didn't even get close. So I wonder if there's ways to further upgrade this guy. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. All right, first off, stop doing anything. Just, just seriously stop it. Cut it out. Wait, what was that only conscious business? This is Bill Cosby. Yes, only if only... Disabled only target conscious. Like, what is a target only unconscious creatures? Calm down, freaking Bill Cosby. Jesus Christ. All right. 
stop. That's what I was looking for the whole time, but I was making Bill Cosby jokes, so I couldn't see it. Hang on, let's go ahead and put you back into a Pokeball, and then let's see what the odds are of cloning you, buddy. Because that's, that's what it's all about. If we could perhaps make multiple of you and just swarm the shit out of the wyvern, then that would work best, I think. I love how there's not even a ladder up to- there's literally no way up to this except Wolverine Claws or a flying creature. Wolverines only, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and plop you in there, and then what about you? Can we clone you? You need a clone token? <laughs> Get your mother's butt out of my face. You know, on the upside, we, um, we don't need to go through the gate every time for the entire back half of our base is open. And on the other upside, there's so many damn lasers all over the place that nothing's gonna mess with anything. I will complete it! I know it didn't take me close to 100 episodes just to make this, so obviously there's a little bit of speculation over if I ever am gonna fix this, but I am, I swear I will. I have to, it looks atrocious! Alright, well my camera's gonna shut off in 5 seconds, which is weird. Well, it just kinda does every like 45 minutes. I don't think people realize how long these arc recordings are. They, they, they are a monster. But, I mean, it's like the most... It intricate like oh the camera shut off gotta do what's gonna happen it's the most uh there's no survival game where you can do even one tenth as much as arc not e not even not even kind of close not even like remotely even a little bit baby close i mean maybe uh, there's a lot actually i've never even really played rust so i actually know nothing of what i'm talking about at all but i've never seen anybody taming godzillas while riding t-rexes and rust clips before so i mean there's got to be some truth to it also doesn't there i'm not firing shots at anything the only reason i'm even mention mentioning rust is because i've just always heard that it's so insanely epic that that's what i imagine people are going to compare it to in the comment section does anyone know where I left my freaking dude? Look up. Look up, Johnny. Damn it, I have no- I literally have no recollection as to where I left it. I could have sworn it was like here. Oh god. Where is- is he in a- Is he in a Pokemon? He's in a Pokemon. Okay, yep. Oh, okay, okay, yes. I, I'll be very bad in the world of Pokemon. Like, shit! Pikachu is in one of these 500 Pokeballs, and I have absolutely no idea which. Oh my god, it's the last time I get drunk and show girls my Pokemon ever again. That would happen to me so often. I would I would have names on my Pokeballs. I'm not trying to sound racist or anything, but Ash is Japanese. Dude's probably smarter than I'll ever be. And that's- uh, my cousin's 50% Japanese. She lives in Japan, and that chick is smart as hell. Okay, so we gotta, um... We got she's like 14 or something. God damn, people are gonna take us over one day. I just hope they make me, you know, hope they're nice to their servants. All right, now you, buddy, let's go ahead and extract some DNA, right? Uh, can I get a, okay, wait, what am I doing? Make sexual jokes after you get the DNA from the creature. Can I, okay, use this to extract down DNA. Must be used in a wild dino's inventory. Get creative. Your mother's anus, sir. Must be used in a wild dino. How, so you gotta knock it unconscious and drain the inventory? Okay, all right, well, <laughs> Plot twist, you can't knock this creature unconscious. Everything I just did was for nothing. And thus, continues a lifetime of uselessness. What do you want, douche? Hey, I'm kicking this thing's ass right now. I'm Team Nasher. Warning boss, come around here. Looking at my girlfriend. Sniffing my women. Where'd he go? I'm not the smartest guy, but I will take down men. Alright, let's go ahead and test our strength right now against this top-hatted peanut logoed gentleman all right he just damn i like it i like how they just do so much damage to us before we're even remotely in the thing look at this dude look how much health we've lost how is this how is this a thing doing half a million damage per nibble where you're still losing so and you know the thing else he's convinced all the wild creatures in the world to come fight us that's where i draw the line that's just not cool dude we can't Oh yeah, let's go see if we can pop Primordius in the cloning machine and see if we can get away with cloning it without it costing six million. But you know, there's no way it's gonna happen. Because it costs six million even to tame a poison drink. Okay, the fact that you guys down to half health makes me think that this isn't the big old answer to all of our problems. I think we still have the same old goddamn problems, in fact. Oh yeah, yeah, now everything's pissed out us. You guys could all kiss my balls. You didn't even know that warden before this. You just all acting like you were his friends. Bunch of fakes. Everyone's so fake around here. 
All right, so I'm a little, God damn it, dude. I mean, I'm trying to do my best. I'm taking all advice from the conversations I can. But the thing is, what do we do? What do we do? Do we? Do? Oh wait, no. I was gonna just. All right. There's, there's absolutely no way. This. Wait. How the hell are we even gonna? My cloning facility was not meant for primordial dragons. All right. Mr. Stark was not built for this. Get your Iron Man suit out of here. Six million shards. And that, my good friends, is what I was worried about. All right, so seeing as how, I mean, we repair almost instantly. That part is awesome. But the, the part that sucks is the part we don't repair instantly. Now, I, I guess a lot of people are saying I should use, use these, okay, wait, these health potions Damn, it's just scary because you only get one shot. It's not like I could go there and die. I'm like, okay, well, that was a good rough draft. We'll just go ahead and hang up our Primordius' dead body. He gave it his best go. Like, no, I'm, I'm tired of losing mega soldiers, dude. We can't keep losing them like this. We gotta have them bounded by our will is the thing. So, um, yeah. Instantly forget what I'm talking about every time I go through the teleporter. Leave a like if you're still watching. All right, so now... Weird. Could have sworn that happened before. Nevertheless. Alright, a lot of people are telling me to use freaking Pestilence in this battle because of his over-the-time damage. But look, this dude's got freaking... Well, I guess he's got he's got 20 million health. Now, I guess just go to last episode if you guys want to see what happens. when. Because remember, Zilla barely does any damage at all. Zilla, even though I could probably fix that right now a lot. Zilla, um, he's called Pestilence because his damage is over time. But it's not that much damage over time. What's happening here? What is this epic music? Is this World Snake music now? It's insane. Wow, that's life altering. Hey, let me board the World Snake. Come on. Wh where's the? There we go. Get that Arch level 920 Prime Alpha Argentavis. That's some kind of special creature right there. All right, buddy. Now with you, World Snake. All right, damn, I ain't reading small letters. Dude's got 230 million health. He's almost got as much health as the freaking dude. As the um, did I leave the Pokeball? Sometimes I just want to kick myself in the nuts. Can we bite everyone over there? That's so funny. And we almost do a million damage. We're using the World the World Snake and Primordius when this goes down. But I just I literally don't feel safe. Do okay, wait, come on. I don't know, dude. After last episode, I am just so shocked over what could possibly happen to the worlds, our worlds, that um, I'm just, I'm a little spooked now, dude. I'm, I'm actually a little scared. To be honest with you, what just shot ice blasts? Whatever. Do, do your own thing. I really can't believe all this. I mean, if we were ever going to do our most epic arc series, this is the way it would be done. What is going on over here? Like our most epic arc survival evolved series, I mean. It's not like we're pulling any dark assassin type sneaky business, but you're entertaining as hell. This is more survival based, but the most epic survival based boss battle kind of thing. I mean, I've never had to even go remotely to the point where you even had to worry about the amounts of, I've, oops, my inventory the whole time. Jesus Christ, Johnny. I swear I'm gonna kick you in the nuts one of these days. But I mean, I wanted a giant battle. I wanted something I could get amped about. I was tired of things just being too easy for my giant mega monster modded creatures. And well, we've got it thing is kicking the crap out of us and just embarrassing our turds off dude glide johnny well you glided a little bit buddy i kind of wish that this was on the ground floor now but i never get tired of using these wolverine claws one day i might though use them a lot seriously the two best things to come out of aberration right here wolverine claws and giant world snakes and yes the wolverine claws are from aberration obviously how else would we be able to do that all right, buddy. Time to upgrade this dino. I guess this kid health isn't even remotely what it could be, which is very interesting, actually, because we have about as much health almost as the freaking Origin Wyvern right now. Oh my God, my nose is just so bad. I'm gonna have to do what I do in live streams, where I itch my nose using a knife because I can't stop streaming, and I don't want anyone to Photoshop it where I look like I'm picking my nose. Photoshop this, I just look awesome. Oh my god, this is the stuff right here. Woo! This thing's about to be so much more strong. It's just freaking incredible how strong this world snake is about to be. Now it's a world snake. Before it was just world snake-ish. It was just a danger noodle. Now it's actually a world snake. Oh my god. 
By the way, imagine, imagine being a male porn star and your name being a world snake. Goals right there, baby. Dude, melee damage is barely scathed also, oh my god! What do we need for more dinosaur eggs? I suppose I could get a quiet mode. No, I saw four more potions. Alright, beautiful clones of my beloved. I'm sorry, just remember, you are all clones and none of you exist. You are all made of some weird... Oh god, the nose itch is just... Just tenfold. You all made of weird science goo, alright? You come from science goo and you return to science goo. I am one hell of a scientist, I swear. This is the most intelligent conversation I've probably ever heard in my life. Science goo? What kind of space talk is that? Alright. I love it. Whenever you're curious about something, just insert a word and then call it goo. See, this random gibberish helps while we're, while we're slaying these hounds. Okay, hopefully you'll be the light. You were sacrificed for a greater purpose. Okay? I wish I could give you the Thanos speech right now, but I'm nowhere near as good with it as Squidward is. That dude is one holy fart. I hope Ma returns. Alright, come on. Whoa! Alright, this world stake better be straight up worldly, son. Okay, you know, let's just go ahead and plop all those tokens in there. The dude has got- cause look at freaking melee damage. It's virtually unscathed as well. Everything about this snake is about to be so much fancier. I'm excited! I think we could actually kick the crap out of the orange wyvern. I definitely want you guys to comment all your information and hints and tips down below though, cause seriously it's to the point now where we're struggling to defeat bosses. Multiple episodes in a row. We need to unite. The riot brigade must come together, or we will surely hang separately. By your mama's panties. I couldn't- I couldn't stop myself. Alright buddy, let's go see how crazy you are now. Alright, I'm excited. I love this table. Thank you so much, Jay. You've saved the entire survival series, you beautiful bastard. Cool story about Jay. He's a viking who does smith working or blacksmithing. I see I can't even say the damn word. I think it's blacksmithing. You beast! You tremendous shiny bastard! Max died at level 555. A little troubling right there. Alright, we does look like we have about 380 million health, which Puts us over the origin wyvern. Woo! If Primordius even acts as a little bit of backup, then we should be able to win this easy. My only concern, however, is that Primordius is okay. All right, we are, we are one oh, fancy bastard, I'd say, ladies and germs. I don't see anything stopping us from ultimate victory anytime soon. Look at that, five million. That's that's bananas. That's absolutely crazy. I'm, I'm still a little skittish though, dude. I'm still a little freaking skittish. Like the uh, Raphis was, oh God, please tell me fall damage was fixed. Oof, oh thank God it was fixed. Godzilla, you're the man, dude. You are the Mandingo. Wait, no, I think Mandingo's when like five brothers get together for a, oh, I'm getting into orgy talk again. All right, so I said brothers, not brothers. This isn't incest, all right? It was, it was it's cool stuff. All right, so. We did lose a lot. I would like to gas ah, this is risky stuff. The thing is what if we lose our world snake? How the hell are we gonna recover from that? I mean like what do we even what do we even do after that? Quit our jobs and just and just be gay porn stars after cuz that's I don't even want to bring freaking Primordius into this Cuz the dude got down to half health fighting a warden and that is preposterous right there absolutely preposterous Alright, comment down below, to battle or not to battle, if you're here to decide the next of the courses. Actually, no, I think, uh, no, definitely comment down below, because it's 100% up to you guys. If I should wait a second longer, then I will. My only concern now is that freaking fire buff that creature has. It does so much damage, it just destroys, it erodes the hell out of everything. So you, you're actually very easy to acquire. I think with some resistance potion, if we just keep using this to remove the fire damage off the origin, then we should be able to, um... Then we should be able to... What am I trying to say? We should be able to defeat it! God, words are difficult. I believe in us. I think we have the technology needed to get this thing done now. I think the World Snake can get it done right now. I just kind of want to wait an episode and then fight both the bosses. Because that sounds so freaking epic. Like, we could, uh... Because I also need to go tame a, um... A... A... A dark glow tail, I think is what it is. I think that's the number one recommended from you guys. It's scary as hell here at night! Because, um, because, oh my god, because, oh, I forgot, oh, because the freaking demonic reaper, which we're also facing right after we fight the origin wyvern. I think next episode is going to be a giant boss battle episode. All right, now this beautiful creature. Wait, wait, no, 
What is happening? What is happening? Right, Thor. Thor, come to me, Thor. What's in here just starting fire firefights, dude? None of that. Absolutely none of that. Hey, I made a saddle for this thing. I don't know what this music is, but it's so freaking epic. I think it's the Zilla music, but... Or it could be this guy. Uh-oh. It's definitely this guy. Well, my we made short work of that evil bastard. That may seem like an OP ridiculous thing, but this is Thor after all, okay, ladies? It's Thor. It's the God of Thunder, okay? Be mature and calculated when regarding the God of Thunder. Is that my Deadpool? Deadpool, what the hell are you doing? I don't know if you're actually safe over here, bud. You know what? If you die, then you're not Deadpool. I guess that's... Alright, let's test. Let's test this freaking stuff right now. Oh, but I wanted to show you guys because a lot of people are calling me clickbait. Because uh, because this was we do have we do, look we do have this beautiful creature tame the flesh eater the flesh eating monster right here honestly it could be a little stronger let's just go ahead and take you back to the base and pokeball him up shall we oh he's gonna be so strong by the time we're done with him he's gonna be so beefy ripping the flesh from the bones of the mortals all right now let me just go ahead and go grab the world snake really quick there's two dragons right there that's so weird that's not supposed to be a thing. Alright, if you, if you, just depending on you, let me show them a I base, or I base, if I know they're gonna win, based off of warden battles. I feel like there's no godly way in hell that the freaking world snake can lose this fight. Like, there's absolutely no way in a million years the world snake's gonna lose the fight. But, I feel like I've also thought that about ten times so far in this survival series. So I've completely stopped trusting my instincts. Completely stopped. There's... I don't even trust them a little bit anymore, dude. Now let's just play the safe game. Protect your loved ones and play the safe game. Don't die. That's it. It's a golden rule. I've been slouching so much this whole video. All right, Wardenskis. And you're a real bastard of a warden, too. You're a real schnitzelberry. All right, you see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of immediate respect I've been demanding around here. Oh my god, don't worry about nothing. Oh look at he stretches all the way out and just kills everything he touches. Yeah, don't worry about nothing ladies and gentlemen. The Riot Brigade has come together and has developed a new creature that is so insanely powerful, some would call it game-breakingly lame. Some, however, don't play in my freaking Anunnaki world and don't deal with, um, with god bosses that could essentially eliminate celestial creatures, which the only thing that should be able to eliminate a Celestial is another Celestial. We've all watched Guardians 2. Everyone knows what's going on there. You shouldn't put a tumor in a guy's mom's head. But either way, I think we just, we just climb mountains, baby. We slither right on up that bitch. All right, I'm confident now. I'm confident with our abilities. Did I just kill a great Jaguar? Jaguar couldn't have been that great if I ate it. I'm with it. I think we've got this. We have the technology. Fall damage is the main thing that hurts us. And even that's whatever. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Also happy with how easy the world snake's able to just kind of maneuver around. <sighs> you know, it'd be crazy if we gave the world snake one of those agility potions. Because then it could turn around 360. That'd be bananas. How did one of my Dota Rexes get over here? Whatever. I just like that we basically run this joint. They're not going to go up the mountain. They stay in this giant fishbowl. And that makes me happy. Dude, dragons would be right in my food chain. Like, they'd be the perfect snack for a snake this big. It would never be able to size up anything great. Well, it's a, it, it doesn't, well, it's a basilisk. It's not a tight no bow. It's a whole different thing. All right, so now I'm confident. After last episode, there was no way in a million buttholes I was ever going to go into a battle without being a 1,000% confident. And now, I feel like we're there. We achieved it. I feel good. So yeah, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and prepare for more, gentlemen and ladies, because that's where we're going next episode. Peace!